Last year, Oxford Street made the news for being one of the most polluted roads in the whole world. Air pollution is a serious problem. In 2012, it was attributed to 3.7 million deaths worldwide. But worryingly, we still aren't sure why. And this is where my work comes in. I'm focused on diesel exhaust, which is made up of a variety of gases and also tiny particles suspended in the air. And now these particles, they have a carbon core surrounded by chemicals and they can be as small as 20 billionths of a meter in diameter. I'm interested in how these diesel particles can affect the nerves that are in your airways. Now, these nerves, there are different types and they can be sensitive to different things, but when they're activated, they send a signal up to your brain and it can tell your body to initiate protective responses. For example, uh, when some food goes down the wrong way, your nerves can detect that and that's why you start coughing. Uh, but these nerves have also been implicated in diseases such as asthma as their activation can cause your airways to constrict. I've shown for the first time that diesel exhaust particles can activate airway sensory nerves. And they actually seem to activate the ones which are more sensitive to chemicals rather than physical touch. This was really interesting. So what I did was I got the, the diesel particles and I separated them into a particle core and just the chemicals. And it seems like the chemicals are the important bits. And when you look at what's inside this diesel chemical mix, you get a long and scary looking list of highly reactive substances. And this already gives you a clue about what's going on here. Uh, there are actually very special proteins on the surface of nerves that act as environmental sensors. And what I found is that these diesel chemicals only activate a very specific type of sensor, one that we know can be activated by reactive substances, but more importantly, also causes cough and also increases symptoms in respiratory diseases. So now finally, the pieces of the puzzle are coming together and we're starting to understand a new mechanism that can explain why air pollution can affect the body and cause health effects. This might be the start of new treatments or management strategies for those particularly affected by air pollution. Um, but one thing is clear, whatever we find, we want to stop people getting sick. We want to stop people dying. So we need to reduce the levels of harmful air pollution. But if you look outside and see how many cars there are on the road, that's going to be a very difficult thing to do. But hopefully with research like mine, there will be part of the evidence that gets things to change. As an update, Oxford Street has an annual cumulative air pollution limit. In 2015, we broke that limit in just four days. So if we do make that change happen, hopefully it will be a breath of fresh air. Thank you. <laughs>